12-week carb cycling meal plan boosts your fat loss with this diet. Unpopular opinion. Low-carb diets are so hard to stick to. Yes, you want to go full keto and get your dream body in a few months, but you hate the idea of giving up carbs entirely. Even worse, your cravings get out of control every once in a while. So, you need a moderate diet, one that lets you eat some carbs every so often. Carb cycling does exactly that. It might be the happy medium between going carb-free and letting your carb cravings rule you. So, is carb cycling good for weight loss? How does it work? Here are the answers to your most pressing carb cycling questions, along with a sample 12-week carb cycling meal plan. What is carb cycling? Carb cycling is a diet tactic where you eat different amounts of carbohydrates on alternate days depending on your activity. Unlike intense dieting, which can lead to weight loss, then the yo-yo effect once the diet's over, this method helps maintain steady body weight by regulating hormonal stress caused by calorie restriction. The idea behind carb cycling is that people can't stick to the same low-carb diet indefinitely without craving something, usually carbs. When this happens, they either go back to their old eating habits or quit altogether. Carb cycling aims to make it easier to adhere to and lose weight with a zero, very low, or low-carb diet. In some cases, carb cycling can help combat fatigue and decline in energy levels that often occur when following a low-carb diet over a long period. High-carb days You eat more carbs than usual and fill up on things like whole grains, legumes, fruit, and starchy vegetables. Research suggests that these types of carbs will not only give you energy but also keep you full. Low-carb days your carb intake is much lower than usual. You may still be in a calorie deficit, eating fewer calories than you burn, but the calories from carbs are drastically reduced. This may lead to greater fat loss and less muscle loss compared to steady state diets. Benefits of carb cycling There are not many studies of how carb cycling affects a person's physique, However, we can get some insight from what we know about macronutrients and how they should be consumed to help encourage weight loss. Fueling Tough Workouts Insufficient carbohydrates can compromise athletic performance, especially endurance activities or high-intensity training. It may also make sustaining workouts difficult since the body won't have enough readily available fuel to keep muscles fueled with ATP. Carbohydrates are used by muscles for high-intensity activity. Therefore, it's best to consume larger amounts of carbohydrates around a workout because this will give your muscles enough energy without negatively affecting fat loss efforts. By consuming a sufficient amount of carbohydrates, you can also help prevent muscle fatigue. In an endurance sport, you want to keep your body fueled with glycogen so that your muscles do not start using glyconeogenesis process in which the liver converts protein into glucose as fuel. The timing of carbohydrate consumption may also influence how well carb cycling works for weight loss purposes in certain situations. In one study, participants who consumed a high amount of carbohydrates two hours before exercising lost more weight than the other groups. In addition to helping decrease body fat levels by fueling intense workouts, Another benefit of carb cycling is that it does not lead to high-level hunger pangs. People who are trying to cut back on calories often complain about how hungry they get. Giving up carbs altogether comes with intense cravings that might make it harder to stick to the diet. Carb cycling helps with this because you can eat a higher amount of carbohydrates around periods where your energy requirements are at their highest, during and right after a workout, or when you need extra energy in general. For example, if you have a busy day ahead. You also get to indulge your cravings with a moderate amount of carbs every other day. This may be helpful for some people who find that they do not want to stick to an extremely low-calorie diet plan because they feel hungry all the time, even though they're giving up soda, candy bars, chips, etc. Controlling Blood Sugar The benefits of carb cycling for blood sugar control are massive. 
it could be an excellent tool for pre-diabetics or those with high blood sugars. By manipulating insulin levels, it may help stabilize or even reduce them naturally. When you cycle your carbs according to the plan, your body's insulin sensitivity could potentially increase. It means that less insulin is needed to process carbohydrates and sugar. This will also result in lower fasting cortisol levels as well as lowering cholesterol, including LDL or bad cholesterol, and raising HDL or good cholesterol levels. Carb cycling may be a good option if you have insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is when the body's cells do not react to normal levels of insulin. Insulin plays an important role in how glucose, or blood sugar, gets into and out of the cell. If you're overweight or obese, your body might overproduce insulin, and this can cause you to become resistant to it. Carb cycling remedies this by allowing you to eat some carbohydrates on certain days of the week and very little carbohydrates on other days. Then your body might be more efficient at using insulin because it's not overproducing it due to overeating all the time. If you do have insulin resistance or any other health condition, always speak to your doctor before making any major dietary changes, including carb cycling. How to Carb Cycle Carb cycling can get quite complicated for a beginner. Here is a simplified process that you can use to get started. Step 1. Learn your daily carb needs. The first step in any carbohydrate cutting program is figuring out exactly how many grams of carbs you should be eating to support your lifestyle and body weight goals. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommended that carbohydrates make up 45 to 65 percent of your total daily calories. So if you get 2,000 calories a day, between 900 and 1,300 calories should come from carbohydrates. That translates to between 225 and 325 grams of carbohydrates a day. However, the exact amount you need for low-carb and high-carb days is based on the calories you're taking to create a deficit and lose weight. The most reliable method of calculating how many calories you should eat each day is by using an accurate calorie needs calculator, and there are several available online. Step 2. Plan your weekly activities. Do you plan to work out? How often? And how intense will your workout sessions be? Categorize your days based on when you're more active and when you plan to rest. Step 3. Adjust your daily carb intake accordingly. Having a weekly plan is important to schedule a high-carb intake for days when you need more energy. This ensures the extra calories are used up and that you don't frustrate your weight loss efforts. Use this for guidance. Eat fewer carbs on rest days or on days you're restricting calorie intake for weight loss. Eat more carbs on heavy training days, strength training days, or any time you need to use the extra calories. You should also decide the types of carbs you're eating based on your weekly activities. Generally, whole or complex carb sources are preferred as they're less likely to cause spikes in blood sugar. However, simple carbs are acceptable after a workout. Use this for guidance. Eat more simple carbs before and after a workout session for quick fuel and optimal recovery. Eat more starchy and high-fiber carbs throughout the day to promote fullness and better blood sugar control. Step 4. Track your macros. It can be tempting to eyeball your meals and hope you're getting the figures right. This is even more likely when you're busy and can't make time to track everything you eat. However, tracking macros is extremely important for the success of any carb cycling or weight loss plan. Using a health tracker to keep on top of your macros is a more efficient and practical method than tracking your daily energy expenditure and adjusting for weight loss or muscle gain. Поехали. Step 5. Adjust and repeat. You might not get it right the first time. During your first few weeks on the carb cycling plan, you'll notice some aspects that work and others that need tweaking. Pay attention to your hunger and energy levels and how your workouts are going. Then add more carbs or scale back as needed. Which foods to eat while carb cycling? When on a carb cycling plan, you'll have to eat good carbs and avoid bad carbs. 
Bad carbs are generally processed, high in sugar and additives. Good carbohydrates have these qualities. High fiber content, slow digestion, less processed. Some foods that contain good carbs that you should make part of your carb cycles includes whole grains and legumes. Whole grains and legumes are some of the best foods to include in a carb cycling meal plan. This is mainly because they contain high amounts of fiber and are slow to digest. It makes them perfect for a carb cycling meal plan. Some examples of whole grains include oats, brown rice, whole wheat, and quinoa. Legumes include all types of beans and lentils. Higher Fiber Fruits and Vegetables Fiber is an essential part of any carb cycling meal plan. Your body will not absorb the carbs contained in fiber, so it passes through your body undigested. This can help you stay full longer and burn fat because it keeps you feeling full for a while. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes all have fiber. Some examples include berries, avocados, cabbage, and broccoli. Complex Carbs with Low Glycemic Index GI. These are normally slower digesting carbs that come from whole foods as opposed to refined or processed foods, which are high GI. They also contain lots of nutritious fiber. Examples include sweet potato, beans, and brown rice. Low Sugar Fruits and Vegetables Any fruit or vegetable that's low in sugar will be great for your carb cycling meal plan. The reason for this is because they won't cause insulin spikes, which lead to fat storage. Some examples include cabbage, celery, and cauliflower. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories. JoJoStories.com <laughs>